this is Jasmine Curtis-Smith and I'm about to share with you my five favorite designer items. So, I am a person that is not very big on designer items, but I am very lucky and grateful because I have people around me who have been gifting me beautiful things in life. And um, I think that was what started, made me start buying pieces as well for myself and start investing in my own style and my own key fashion pieces. So, some of these items really are some of the things that I wear on a daily basis. I know people like to save their luxury items for special occasions, but I like to think of it as every day is special. Like you can't save your luxury items. Baka one day, di mo na kasi girl, can't go out, pandemic, right? Like we don't want that type of thing again. So make use of it while you can. So these items talaga gamit. So Let's go through it. These are my Christian Louboutin heels and they were given to me by my sister and thank you Ate. These are my first ever designer heels and shoes. I got this as a gift for Christmas from my Ate when I just started in the industry. And I remember receiving it and wondering how on earth am I gonna style these pair of shoes? It's so loud and pink and just crazy glittery and I knew that I wasn't really the type to choose this type of style but because I started in the industry, I wanted to make sure I had something that would pop out as well and I could wear a simple outfit too and my ate recommended pop it with some shoes, right? Like always have a key piece that pops out. This is my favorite, favorite bag in the world ever. It's my Chanel bag. I think it's called the, the boy bag. Sorry, I'm really not like good with like labels, but I know it's a Chanel bag. This is my first ever self-purchased designer bag. I told myself I would never buy designer bags and I'll just like wait until someone gifted it to me. But this is the best because it fits everything. It can fit a water bottle, it can fit your wallet, camera. Trust me, I put the camera ko dito and it fits. So this is my go-to and I chose black. At least it goes with any type of outfit. It's a classic and I've had this since 2014. So it's my most cherished, like baby ko siya. Sa lahat ng bags ko, ito talaga. Like I will never sell this as a never, ever or give it away, pamana, no, mine. Third item on the list is my Prada wallet. This is like, I would say it has the same level of functionality as my Chanel bag, because it fits everything, all sizes of bills, and and that means room for cards. I don't have so many cards, ko, but I mean, thank you, right, for believing in me that one day I'll have these many cards, membership cards lang naman. Um, but yeah, it's great because this fits in here. And kinaya ko pang maglagay ng camera. So I love this size. It's just, it's handy and it's black and I go for classic colors as well. I don't know what else to say about this. It's just my favorite wallet. All right. Fourth are my Chanel Espadrilles. And these are, I think, my go to pair of shoes when I feel like the outfit is too much already or there's too many things going on. I want to keep it simple. It's like your luxe white sneakers. You know, like instead of sneakers, I go for my white. Espadrilles, and then it makes me feel like my outfit is already dressed up or ready for you know some kind of like saucy event, like a brunch, and then to join a call like hi guys, like mm, yeah, in my Chanel Espadrilles, like get on. So I love this pair, like super love this pair. Like this one, they go hand in hand. Like they're not the same style, but I, I love I love Chanel so. Go Coco Chanel, go Coco! Last, we have a clutch from Neil Phillip, and he is a Cebu-based designer. And I got this piece from him because I went to Sundance recently, and it was part of the outfit that my stylist gave to me. And I just felt like the story behind it of like represents Filipinos so much, especially in these times. You know, there's a lot of controversial things for our fishermen going on. So these fishes remind me of the struggle that they're going through and 
and we're able to highlight that with this piece, I think, and showcase that in an international event like Sundance. So I wanted to keep this piece as like a reminder of that, that memory and that moment of mine and the fact that they found this piece to accompany me. Because I really made it a point that kailangan merong touch ng Filipino design or any any style when it came to my outfit for Sundance Film Festival. So this was it. This was the Filipino highlight of my outfit for the premiere up in my mother's skin. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and liked it, please like and subscribe to the Preview channel and also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook.